side here. John's a little bit on the lonely side today, so he wants to be in here. So put him in the carrier. My mom has asked me to make a dragonfly for my aunt. So I found these four different images of these dragonflies, which I really liked because they're all in different positions. And that's what I was hoping to have. So I am going to start making the dragonflies. I've picked out some wood, some green, some red, yellow, purple, and then I'm gonna use this for the wings. So I cut out the dragonflies and I glued them to the pieces of wood. And next was cutting out the pieces, so I chose my favorite thing, the bandsaw. Guess what's next? Sanding or shaping. Look who I have in the shop! It's my mom! Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna put her to work doing some sanding. <laughs> <laughs> what I figured out about the uh, leaves. Wings? Ah! What I figured out about the wings. Wings! <laughs> Dragonflies have leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so I am going to cut this into pieces, then I'll uh, let you start sanding it. Okay, that'd be good. Awesome! <laughs> And that's Tiki. <laughs> Guard dog. Guard dog extraordinaire. She was just curious about what was going on. Oh. Oh. We're making lots of noise. I think she's a good dog. Beautiful. <laughs> I think she she'll be happy to go lay down again. <laughs> she's gonna go lay down. So we got back to work. <laughs> mom's wing. Her wing looks better than my wing. She's doing good. There's mine. 
We worked on figuring out the layout of where to put all the dragonflies, and of course we ended up changing it again later. We changed venues, but it was too chilly out there. Okay, we've been sanding for, well, this is our second day. <laughs> and now it's 6pm. We still didn't have the layout figured out, but we were tired and done for the day. The next day, we started by adding size corner to the back and a Bible verse. Rosie had to check it out, of course. And I added the hanging hardware, too. There! Yay! The Bible verse we chose is Psalm 104, verse 24. Lord, you have made many things. With your wisdom, you made them all. The earth is full of your riches. We decided to put in a swamp. And so we worked on the swamp edge, and then the water, and the lily pads. I need to cut this board. I added some stain to the little piece that we're making the water. Then I used a wood burner to add some eyes. Mom had done that once already, and then I sanded the heads again, and it took all the eyes off. Oops! Sorry, Mom. When the water was all dry, we started to glue everything into place. Oh, sorry, Rosie. <laughs> Rosie don't mind. <laughs> woo, woo. Using the and the 2P10 to put the wings together. It's working quite well. I glued up the wings and then moved on to the little flower I wanted floating in the pond. This is a picture I worked from and I came up with this yellow flower. I didn't like it and so mom had this idea for this red flower which turned out great. We weren't sure how we were going to add the antenna or what I call antlers. And mom came up with this great idea to just take that wire and wrap it around the head and have it sticking out. And it worked quite well. Way to go, mom. I'll hold, you twist. There it is. Very nice. Cute. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, mommy. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> And we did it in record time. Well, because mom was here to help me. It was lots of fun. It was fun being able to work with you. Oh, good. And First you, time. You did so good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for joining us, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.